Hey guys, we're going through a typical, not typical, we're gonna go through a, an example of a surf conditioning workout today. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do about four stations. We're gonna run through it three times, and then we're gonna switch gears and change a couple of the exercise, keep, keep the structure of the workout, keep Ian moving today. Um, we're gonna do an upper body, a lower body, a balance station, and a core station. We're gonna keep him moving throughout this workout right now. Okay, so first station, we're doing medicine ball on the floor push-ups, shifting. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps. Hand on the wall, hand on the ground. Everything's the same things apply when we do a regular push-up. All the way down, switch. Roll the ball over to the next hand, switch. 10 reps, here we go. Exhale on the press, switch the hand, doing 10. Core nice and tight. All the weight in the upper body. Push you count. Palms. You count. That's number five. I got you. That's number six. Two more each. Good. One more. Excellent. Okay, we got some upper body warmed up, going. Now we're gonna let the blood flow, upper body rest a little bit, and then we're gonna get the, the lower body going here. Surf stand squats, okay? We're using the Air X pads right here. You guys, we can use different, different stuff for this. We can do the same kind of exercise on a wobble board and a cow patty like this too. This is gonna add a little bit of different element, okay? What this, obviously these things do, create an unstable surface, Makes it a little bit more challenging, a lot of it more challenging actually, rather than doing it on the floor, which we do usually do most of everything on a stable surface, we're going to make it unstable. Surf stand squat, okay? Same things apply in the squat, we're just adding a twist, okay? In, squat all the way down, pass parallel, twist, keep your chest high, put the ball back up on the shelf, pick it off, twist back, twist forward, put it back up. Ian's going to go 10 times on each side. Why not? Yep, a little bit wider than shoulder width. You want to kick the toes out so everything aligns up nice and properly. Hit knees and toes. Go ahead and squat. Bring the ball down, twist. Twist back forward, put it back up. Good. Squat down, twist back. Now, as you guys do this, you feel more comfortable with it. You can go ahead and, if you, as long as you have great technique, you want to speed it up. Make it more lifelike, like when we're surfing. All the muscles used on this, this exercise right here gets it all going. Good, to good core, good torso, great legs. Three more. Don't be afraid to breathe, you guys. Big breaths. Breathing should match the energy being expended on the workout. Switch. Okay, 10 on the other side. Excellent form. As you do this, you're going to notice Ian's stance gets wider and wider. You want to make a little correction so you don't keep putting any pressure in the joint. Go back to the other side. Yellow turned around. There you go. Squat down, no worries, squat down. Good, stay through the heels, back up, good. You got credit for two. There's three, seven more. Good form, burn it out, four. Five more, nice and strong. Keep that posture, make any adjustments in the stance if you need to, you're getting a little wide, you can kick it in a little bit, three more. Keep going, come on, three more. And you guys think this is easy. I'll just tell you you're wrong, it's not. Two more. I'll tell you it's wrong. <laughs> One more. And good, shake it out. Okay, now, we want to get him while he's fatigued, okay? Obviously the key to surfing is we need endurance, so we're going to have him jump right onto the balance board. Ian, come on over here, put your foot right in the middle, and I just want you to try to maintain your balance. We call this an active recovery, okay? He's recovering, but he's still active while he's doing it, so all the little muscles are firing. Put your foot right in the middle, watch it go away. There's a way. Just relax. Breathe tight, breathe. Try to relax your nervous system by taking deep breaths. Calm down a little bit. There you go. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you guys hit the sides, no big deal. Just make the adjustment. Try to put all the, the, the weight into the foot that's on the balance board. Try not to make any corrections with the other foot. Try to put all, make all your corrections in the foot that you're standing on, even if you hit that side. Okay, shake it out. Switch foot. Put in the leg shaking. Uh, it's all good. That's, all, that's the reason why we do it. It's all part of it. You 
guys, anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds is adequate. Again, this is an active recovery. We can do this at the end of a workout. We can do this at the beginning of a workout. I like to add it in there so it gives a little bit of a recovery, but at the same time, you can tell he's still working. He's still breathing. All right, and hop off. Right into a plank, one minute plank on the ground. Okay, now Ian's gonna hold a plank position, parallel to the ground. Don't need to be up as much. No, 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 you don't wanna roll. Nice, sink down into the shoulders like you are, relax, abs are tight. Shoulders right over the elbow, feet are together on the balls of the feet, parallel to the ground. He'll have a tendency as he starts to fatigue, and he'll drop his butt or he'll raise his butt. We wanna make sure he's nice and straight. You can look down at your hands, you can breathe, close your eyes, sing yourself a song. And Ian's gonna hold that for a minute. I like the meditation. Exactly. Isometric holds like that. A lot of times we don't have the patience to do it. We want to rush through it. We want to always keep ourselves in motion. We get a lot of work done just by holding poses. That's why <sighs> yoga is so beneficial. <sighs> Hold for 10 seconds, nice and strong. Straighten those legs, flex those quads. Abs are nice and tight, drawn in through the belly button. Still breathing evenly, keeping the abs tight. And time. Go ahead and sit back on your heels. Let's do a child's pose stretch. Remember that one? Sit back on the heels, knees apart, feet together, drop your head down. Reach in front of you, get a good stretch in that low back and the lats. And then I like to take the back the other way after that stretch. We'll go right into an upward dog stretch. Push yourself up out of your shoulders, head back. Good job. Oh yeah. And that's round one, let's do that two more times. All right guys, second round we're going through, we're gonna do some opposing muscle action. We've done some push, now we're gonna throw in some pull. Stick with the same frame and structure of the workout, we're gonna stick with the upper, lower balance and core, okay? Ian's gonna bust out 10 kipping pull-ups. Go ahead and show him how it's done. And we've gone over this, this exercise individually in the exercise demo portion of our website, you guys. So if you need to know points of performance, you can access that. That's nine, one more, 10, good. Let's walk out behind you here. Now we're gonna do an air squat to a jump. So we're gonna get a little bit more intensity going, a little more explosion. So we're gonna do a nice, every, same things apply on that functional squat. Counterbalance your weight with your arms out front. Jump, land, right back into it. Explode up on that jump. Four, five, six, jump higher. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, good. Okay, a little bit of a flexibility uh, exercise. We're gonna do a little bit of a running touchdown. This is for glutes and hams right here. Run, touchdown, run, touchdown. A little bit of a bend in the knee. Okay, Ian, let's go ahead and join you with this one. We're gonna do 10. You guys, this is great for balance, great for hamstrings and glutes. We're just going 10 each. Whatever foot is planted, you're reaching and touching the ground with the opposite arm. Go ahead and try to get the arms in sync with the running motion. Four, good, dig it out. Five, six, don't be in a hurry. Seven, keep it going, three more. Eight. One more. And switch. 10 on the other side. Left foot planted, reaching with the right hand, down and touch. If you guys want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can reach out a little bit farther in front of you. Try to reach out with your foot in front of you. There you go. You have to bend your leg a little bit more. You'll feel a little bit more of a warmth in the glutes and the hamstring. And it's about seven. Three more. One more. Good. Okay, finish it out with four exercises. We're gonna hop up on the bar and do some knees to elbows. Ian's gonna chalk up a little bit. You guys, another note with the chalk, if you're working on bars and chalk, light, yeah, bam, bam, nice and light. You don't need to chalk it up forever and dust cloud like LeBron James does before his game. Here we go, 10 times touching knees to elbows. This is a hanging leg raise on, on steroids right here. All the way up, he's touching his knees to his elbows. Four, good. Gets the whole abs, upper, lower, middle abs. Come on, three more. 